In this video, we're going to continue the multi-step inequalities worksheet, beginning with number 9 and ending with number 16. And then in the following video, the third video of this worksheet, we'll finish it out. 167 is less than 6 plus 7 times 2 minus 7r. We're going to start by distributing that 7. That'll leave us with 167 is less than 6 plus 7 times 2 is 14, minus 7 times 7r is 49r. Combining like terms on the right, we can combine the 6 and the 14 together. That'll leave us with 167 is less than 6 plus 14 is a positive 20, minus or plus a negative 49r. Subtracting 20 from both sides, we'll get that 147 is less than negative 49r. Rewriting this, we're going to divide by a negative 49. When we divide by a negative, we have to switch to inequality, and 147 divided by a negative 49 is a negative 3, and that's going to be greater than r. Or we could write this as r is less than negative 3. Circle the negative 3 and shade everything to the left. r is less than negative 3 is the answer for number 9. Number 10, we have 5 times 6 plus 3r plus 7 is greater than or equal to 127. Start by distributing the positive 5. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 5 times 3r is 15r plus 7 is greater than or equal to 127. Now we're going to combine like terms on the left hand side. 30 plus 7 is going to be 37, and that's going to be plus 15r is greater than or equal to 127. Subtract 37 from both sides, and we'll get that 15r is greater than or equal to 90. Now we just have to divide by 15. 15 goes into 96 times, so r is greater than or equal to 6. Circle, fill in the 6, and then shade everything to the right. Number 11, negative 8x plus 2x minus 16 is less than negative 5x plus 7x. Let's combine like terms on the right, and we're going to combine like terms on the left. Negative 8x plus 2x is a negative 6x, and we're left with minus 16, and that's going to be less than negative 5x plus 7x is a positive 2x. Let's go ahead and move the x to the right hand side by adding 6x to both sides. Since the 16 is subtracted, it's a negative 16, and that's going to be less than 8x. Divide by that positive 8 to get that negative 2 is less than x, or we can rewrite this as x is greater than negative 2. Circle the negative 2, but do not fill it in and shade everything to the right. And if you're still confused about what way to shade or what numbers to shade, feel free to go back to my one-step inequality or simply graphing inequalities videos. Number 12, negative 1 minus 6x minus 6 is greater than negative 11 minus 7x. Start by combining like terms on the left hand side. Negative 1 minus 6 is going to be negative 7. And that's going to be added to a negative 6x since subtracting 6x is the same as adding a negative 6x. All of that is greater than negative 11 minus 7x. So in this step I'm going to go ahead and move the negative 7 to the right hand side and the negative 7x to the left hand side, which would be adding a 7 to the left and adding a 7x to the right. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right and vice versa. So I have to add a 7x here and I have to add a 7 on this side. That way this will be 0 and this will be 0. Negative 6x plus 7x is 1x, 
which is simply x, and that's going to be greater than negative 11 plus 7 is a negative 4. So we have x is greater than negative 4 for number 12. Circle the negative 4 and shade everything to the right. On to the second page, number 13. A minus 6 is less than or equal to 15 plus 8A. We're going to start by subtracting A from both sides. That'll leave us with a negative 6 on the left is less than or equal to 15 plus 7A. Then we'll go ahead and subtract a 15 from both sides. Negative 6 minus 15 is going to be negative 21, and that's less than or equal to 7A. Divide by 7 to get that negative 3 is less than or equal to A, or we can rewrite this as A is greater than or equal to negative 3 if you prefer the variable on the left-hand side. Locate the negative 3, fill that in, and highlight or shade everything to the right. Number 14, let's go ahead and combine like terms on the left-hand side. So we're going to have 13 minus 8, which will be a 5, plus 6 will be 11. So I have 11 plus 2v is greater than negative 7 minus v. I'll subtract 11 from the left. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right, and I'll add v from the right. Whatever I do to the right, I have to do to the left. This will become 0, and this will become 0. So I'll be left with 3v is greater than negative 18. Divide by 3 to get that v is greater than negative 6, since negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. Circle the negative 6, not filling that in, and shading everything to the right. For number 15, negative 5n minus 6n is less than or equal to 8 minus 8n minus n. We're going to combine like terms on the left, and we're going to combine like terms on the right. Negative 5n minus 6n is negative 11n, and that's going to be less than or equal to 8 minus, or we can do plus a negative, negative 8n minus n, or plus a negative n is going to be negative 9n. Add 9n to both sides to get that negative 2n is less than or equal to a positive 8. We're going to divide by a negative 2, and when we do that, we're going to also have to flip the inequality. So we'll have n is greater than or equal to negative 4. Circle the negative 4, fill that in, and then shade everything to the right. And the last problem in this video, number 16. Before we go ahead and do that, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We're going to start this one by distributing this 7. We'll have negative x is less than negative x plus 7x minus 14 or plus a negative 14. Now we're going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine the negative x and the 7x on the right hand side. I'll have negative x is less than 6x plus negative 14 on the right side. Subtract 6x from both sides to get that negative 7x is less than a negative 14. I'm going to rewrite this inequality up here on the right. When I divide by a negative 7, I'm dividing by a negative, so I have to remember to flip the inequality. So this will be x is greater than a positive 2. Circle the 2 and then shade everything to the right. Also, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And join me for the next video where we'll finish this multi-step inequality worksheet.